Uh, you've seen a video where I tell that it's best to locate and burn the contaminated fabrics of your mind. Let's say hypothetically that I've located it. How do I burn it? Been meditating for two months now. Thank you. WP. Thanks so much, Dr. Pepper. That's nice. I hear that. I'm always, I'm always questing to do a better job of identifying and burning out contaminated fabrics myself. It's, uh, I forget where it is. I'd have to break out, I'd have to break out the good book. I don't, I just, I was speed reading those for a bit. So when you get, when you get through a bunch of books in the Old Testament, it's where I still am right now, they kind of do a little bit of a blending because they're all, you know, they're just a little bit of a blend, blend tech, you know. So uh, in, in regards to, in regards to what you're asking, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different for everybody. And I, I am good, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty good at identifying those things. But I, as with many of us, are always looking for better ways to burn them out and not just eyeball them and having them on your back, perched like a parrot. Billy Bones, Long John Silver, you get the idea. Bootstrap Bill. Uh, so, I would say, the meditation is good. Two months, I mean, that's a long time. It's mostly about forcing good things in, and that will automatically push the bad things out. I, let me just tell you that right now. To use replacement with something good or a negation of whatever behavior or thought pattern or whatever the, whatever you're rooting out is more effective than just trying to remove something from your mind or your behaviors or your attitude or or anything like that it's it's uh, sort of a switcheroo I guess you'd call it a switcheroo so I would put forth that you look for whatever is twisting your soul inside and, uh, you know, if, you, if you're familiar with it enough, you'll know the negation of it and the, the virtue, the opposite of, uh, of whatever's plaguing you. And you, you, ride the, you start riding that in to get the contamination out. Let me just tell you that right now, okay? I need a rocking chair. Bleach, yo. Watch. Kairos, how you doing? The old switcheroo. Yeah, you have to. It's, it's, it's hard to, hey, maybe it works for you just to take something right out. Maybe that works for you. But a lot of people, sort of a replacement is required. Let's say it's, I don't know, let's, uh, for example, I mean, cigarettes. I had my gum here, but it's not here anymore. I mean, maybe, maybe it works better for you if you just stop smoking. Maybe it works better for you if you replace the smoking with a rubber dick. Maybe it works better with you if you replace... Smoking with a, the chew of a gum or the burn of a bag of whatever of your choice. I don't know. I don't know. Only you can know. Only you and God know that. Some things not even God knows. Sunflower seeds, there you go. You could become a bird. You could become a parrot. Replacement. <laughs> Replacement is essential. So just know that. But thanks again, Pepper. It's a worthy discussion at any minute of the day. It's a worthy discussion. Is that most people, most people are very plagued with uh, things they don't like. Not necessarily like about themselves, but things that have contaminated them in this, in this world, which is very heavily contaminated. <laughs> yeah, it's a replacement theory. See, there's a, re there's a couple of replacement theories. There's one... That's a military campaign. And there's, a, there's also another one that's a sort of an inner work domain.